Hello everyone, Michael Chave here from the Morning Coffee Review Series, here today to give you a quick tip on how to create a custom signature in Bluebeam Review. So this tip today is gonna go through and how to create a custom digital signature right here in review with whatever type of signature you wanna use. For this one, I just created one. You could, in terms of like drawing on a PDF and printed it as an image, uh, you could easily go through and do the same thing, but instead of an image, you could have scanned it to have that wet signature. It's completely up to you. So how can we go through and do this in review? I'm about to show you. Alrighty, so now that we're in review, we're gonna go through and show you how this can be done. So in, under tools, you have signature, and from here you have the ability to sign the document. But what we need to do is create a digital ID that's specific to what we want it to look like. So what we can go through and do is create a digital ID. Well, not this way. Let's just go through from the signature area and sign a document. So we'll create a signature field so we can show you how this can be done from here. So what you need to do is create a new ID that has custom appearances in here. So this one is one that I've already created for digital ID. You can hit new um, to create a new one, which is your password essentially and what type of encryption you wanna use. So I'm gonna log in. Oh, that's a lot of numbers. One, there we go. Log in so I can add a new one. This is the out of the box one, which is your standard text. And maybe we don't want that. We want some type of wet signature that looks like we just signed a document. You can go through and do that by not saying standard text. Down here below, you can do document signature or certification, but we're doing signature with new type. This is gonna be mine, so Michael. And I don't want any graphic. Well, I do from a file, but I don't want any of the graphics from out of the box Bluebeam, so I'm removing those, no logo. But I want to grab from a file a custom signature that I've created. So I'm gonna go to here. I have them in my folder and we're gonna go to custom stamps, custom signature, hit open. And here's my custom signature. So again, you can go through and create one on a piece of paper and scan it in as an image and add it here. I created this from Bluebeam just by signing it. There is a pen feature in here. I don't have the best signature I know, but now I'm done. So now I've created this one, you have two different options. Now I have this one or this one. So you can go through and create your two different options that you want or multiple, as many as you want, I don't know if there's a limit, so don't quote me on that, but from here, and I'm signing this document. So before I go through and sign, I'm not gonna sign this here because I don't wanna write over the specific document that I have here. Typically when you save it, it's gonna save over that one that you have because you're certifying it and any changes essentially that happen are gonna be made, make you made aware of those. So I'm going to sign this as a digital signature, Michael's new signature here, I'm gonna hit okay. Save to disk. Save to my desktop here, come on, and overwrite the existing one. And there we are. So that is signed. I can go to my signatures panel on the left-hand side. It's now good to go. This is how you can quickly go through and create a custom signature for your digital signatures in review that's maybe a wet signature feel that you've been wanting to do instead of the digital signature ID that's natively out of the box review. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Make sure you like and subscribe below, it really helps out. If you do have any questions, again, comment. Let me know if you have any other quick tips you would like me to create. But thank you for tuning in today on this quick tip on how to create custom digital signatures in review.